On Tuesday, February 6, 2018, SpaceX successfully launched its Falcon Heavy rocket for the first time, resulting in a near-perfect test flight. And this marks another large step forward for Elon Musk and his private space company as they attempt to push humanity beyond low Earth orbit. Now, the Falcon Heavy is really just three of the Falcon 9 rockets strapped together, creating a combined thrust capable of putting about 140,000 pounds into space. And this makes it the most powerful rocket currently on the market. The runner-up is ULA's Delta IV Heavy rocket, which is only capable of launching about half that. However, it's not the launch capability that's the selling feature for SpaceX. It's the landing capability. You may recall over the last couple of years, SpaceX has been testing out a soft landing system for its Falcon 9 engine cores. Bringing a rocket home safe to be reused later is a much more cost-effective way of doing it than we have in the past. Now, after some fits and starts, it seems like SpaceX is really zeroed in on a safe landing procedure. In fact, two out of the three rocket cores used for the test flight of the Falcon Heavy have already flown in 2016. And those same two landed safely again this test flight. The third core unfortunately crashed in the ocean. A larger payload and reusability of its engines means that SpaceX can cut costs for a launch by as much as 75%. So what now? Well, Musk and SpaceX already have buyers lined up to take advantage of the power of the Falcon Heavy. But the ultimate goal of SpaceX is to turn humanity into a multi-planetary species. We'll be watching to see how a Falcon Heavy might be used in robotic missions to planets or even to get humans out to the moon again. Oh, and what did SpaceX have as its payload for the test flight of the Falcon Heavy? None other than a cherry red Tesla Roadster with passenger Starman, a space suited up crash test dummy. Hey, if you own two of the most innovative companies in the world, you might as well have some fun.